Welcome back, you guys. Uh, really, just really enjoying this uh, interview with Diana Carrico. And I want to talk about her book, because she recently had a book published, and uh, Pop Stars from the 1960s. And in here are her uh, photography, uh, some of her photographs and stuff that she that she took through throughout those years. And what was what was this like compiling this for you? It was something I felt obligated. I had something I felt I had to do. I'd cut these photographs around for forty plus years in a storage shed, and I thought this is so silly, you know. And and it came to mind, nothing ventured, nothing gained, let's do this. So my granddaughter and I went to Story Shed, pulled out box after box after box, hoping and praying it wasn't away in the very back of the Story Shed. Fortunately, we found one box. There has, I know there's another box of photographs, but this one box provided us the opportunity to put this book together. And now everybody gets to share in it. What Did you ever try to sell any of the photographs or do anything like that? Well, as you, I, as you will see, there are a few um, newspaper clippings where newspapers did buy photographs and they were published. Okay. So um, you'll see some of the newspaper clippings. But none of the actual uh, individuals in the photos, you didn't ever try to see if they would have an interest no, in, in, it, in purchasing it didn't, them? No, they, as regards to pop stuff, I suppose they have their own way of people keeping track of photographs yeah. to compile yeah, I would assume, books yeah. and memorabilia for them right enough, you know. Uh -huh. They can click in anywhere and find photographs of themselves from way back when, you know. But no, I never, we never did um, contact the, other than the Moody Blues, last year the Moody Blues pay, played Portland and Graham Edge, the drummer, called me. I'd been in touch with him a few years prior and he still had my phone number. So Graham Edge called me uh, on this Sunday and said, we're playing Portland. I said, oh, really? Like I didn't know. L yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he invited me down there and I took copies of the photographs that I'd taken of them 40 plus years ago when they were just starting. And the photographs that are in the book are of the old Moody Blues. I don't have any pictures of Justin Hayward and John Lodge, who are now the Moody Blues. But Graham Edge still is the drummer for the Moody Blues. So anyway, I took these down and he was just, oh, he says, my goodness, look how young I look, yeah. you know. Was early 20s, now he's just turned, what, I think 69. You know, so he was, he was tickle pink, pink to get these photographs. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's, it, it's, it's very cool to just look through here. What, what's the experience like for yourself when you look back through these photos? And now that you see them all, uh, cataloged essentially mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you do you remember oh I remember that standing there taking this shot what what comes to mind when you look at these the nerve that we had the nerve that the you nerve had. yeah the, how in heck's name did we do this yeah you know meeting up with these guys and then you think they put their pants on the same way I do it's true, but it's you know? amazing how we put people on pedestals. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm, and because mm -hmm. somebody's maybe famous, mm -hmm. all of a sudden if they're um, making an extra few dollars more than you. Then wow, they're fantastic. Right, yeah. right. But how are they? Why are they making the extra few dollars? Because they've just let it all hang out and gone for it. Yeah. You know, whether it be in music or writing materials, you know, we we all have a story inside of us. Absolutely. All of us. I don't care who you are. We all have that story, whether you want it to be known or you want to take that chance in getting it out there, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. But if you don't take the chance, you'll never know. You'll never know, yeah. You know, so. And so that's what you decided. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I decided. If people laugh at it, so be it. If they are delighted and it brings back memories for them, hey, that's fantastic. Absolutely. I appreciate it. I yeah. really do. Yeah. But my sister and I, we had tremendous fun doing this. Well, and the cool thing too about it, I would, and I'm making an assumption here, but all of this is now in a digital form somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's an electronic file. So it right. can essentially be, be preserved for exactly. generations. Exactly. So it's, you've now made a mark on history. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. It's funny you should say that because I have a cousin who in Scotland who, who was helping her granddaughter um, do history. 
and she says, I'm reading through this material, and she says, only to discover I am the history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> thought, right. Very good. What about photography today? Do you still do it? No. No? I don't know if my sister and I were burned out. Yeah. I mean, we put hours in like you wouldn't believe. I was reminiscing, reminiscing about that, and we worked so hard. I mean, 15, 20 hours every day in the summer, t in the summers especially, we had to make hay while the sun shone. Mm -hmm. And as a result, our summers were just meeting ourselves coming and going. And yet, it seemed the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. This is what we do. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. My sister has a wee bit um, apprehension about it now, but talking to her. But uh, in fact, I tried to get her to come up from Florida to sit with me today. Oh yeah? She said, oh Diana, my schedule's so busy, I can't leave. Yeah. So I, I said, don't worry about it. Was but she a collaborator on this? I mean, obviously in the photographs. A, a wee bit. And the whole idea, I wanted it to be a surprise to everyone. But I couldn't hold it. I couldn't contain myself much longer once mm -hmm. I got it all together. Yeah. I had to blurt, yeah. blurt it out, you know. So I thought I could just say, here you go. Right. But I had to have some feedback. Well, I hope that you sell many, many copies of this you, this uh, this book and that it sits on coffee tables all over the world. I hope so, and I hope it brings back many, many happy memories for a lot of people, Yes, as I'm hoping it will do. Well, I appreciate you coming on, and um, I'll look back on this interview as a happy memory. It's I've been enjoyed really, this. It's been really nice meeting you. and uh, Thank you. You've been here for 40 years, and I just now met you. So. Right, right. All right. Well, thank you again John, for your thanks time. Thanks so much. I appreciate yes, it. Really appreciate it myself. So, you guys, thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time right here on the Light. John Compton here, saying thanks again for watching. And remember, if you've got a guest idea, let us know. Just visit localite.com.